Welcome to Burke Trains and I'm Joey and I got a quick little haul. It's uh, actually kind of accumulated over the last few, uh, eh, over the last week or so. So let's look at what we got. First, let's start with some vintage items. Picked up a uh, new 220 right there. So this is a Samsonite part set. Samsonite on there. And it's just got some good old red two by two bricks. These are cellulose acetate. Um, that one's for Jabbo right there. Uh, so these would have been the uh, American version of the parts box back in the 60s and this is a 224 so these are these are macaroni yeah I know that new piece which isn't really even a new piece anymore they call macaroni but that's what I call macaroni um, this is a European box it's this slide out type box here macaroni so I picked a couple of these up or they were uh, they're fairly cheap I got I got both of these but these are pretty good boxes so that's some um, uh, parts so this is kind of like this is well this is completely pre pick a brick wall right uh, this is how you got your parts you went to your local toy store hardware store wherever they sold Lego and they would sell these boxes they would sell these in the United States so these in Europe so okay so there's that on the vintage scene I also I have a 7005 um, so I get that all the way in the close-up cam and I said 7005 it's actually 700 slash 5 so this is a little gift set this is European it's a little torn right there uh, overall it's not bad the pieces look really good Really clean. Um, again, these are all cellulose acetate. Obviously, some red and white bricks. We got some red windows in here. I don't know if this is complete or if the part count is right, but I'll look through that and see. So, picked this up pretty cheap too. So, uh, kind of glad to have it. But like I said, I can see another one over there. Um, but pretty cool I'm gonna set these all right let's see somebody, somebody took my shelf well, actually I took that shelf and then I had to move some stuff anyway so let's look at this now, this is a pretty rough shape hang on one second I'm gonna do something here back that camera out just a little bit all right so this that's focusing yeah it is okay new camera been playing with it hopefully this is gonna come out this is kind of my test video for that camera um, at any rate this is a uh, German idea book uh, it's got some extra pieces and stuff in there I ain't gone through uh, it's actually pretty good condition for its age uh, the spine is gone but this is just a paper over the way, uh, best I, I understand it, it was just like a piece of paper that was wrapped around and that's what it looks like. And it, uh, it's gone, of course. I, I bid on this and I bid fairly high because I hadn't seen this before. And I got to digging around and the, the uh, auction didn't list a part number. And uh, the 239 is actually the part number there. Uh, I didn't see it in the in the auction listing. I didn't see it in the pictures. At any rate, I bid kind of high. It was with some parts and stuff, and then I actually found it. And I was like, oh, well, I can order these from a couple places in Europe for less than what I bid. But fortunately, uh, I, I actually kind of got a deal on it. My very my the opening uh, amount that the seller put on there was the amount that it went for. So I think. Probably the binding, the binding probably scared a lot of people. But I'm happy to get it, and it will now be uh, a treasured piece of my collection. 
Um, the other thing, whew, treasured or not, it's it's uh, that's trying to fall off the table there. This is a 200. This is a 200. I believe this is the American version. Maybe not. It does say nope. It does say Enfield, Connecticut. Because I, I, I was thinking the European version had a whole bunch of language up here at the top, and you can't see. Yeah, up here at the top, I think it had a whole bunch of different uh, translations of idea book. I believe uh, nothing real special about this. The 200 idea book. When did this come out? 85. So it's it's not ancient. Um, it would be when I was in high school. But here's the part that I am just so tickled to death with. And let me tell you, I got a pretty good deal on that. That is a complete instruction set in this 200 idea book. So very tickled to death to get that. These instructions are these stickers. The sticker sheet is always missing or incomplete or whatever. But I was looking through here Let's see how many space people are watching. There are several sets in this book, or models, I should say. They're not sets. Um, how many of these? This is a pretty big one here. That's a pretty good size idea book or uh, model there. So, do these count as sets? I mean, I don't think Bricklink lists these, and I don't believe these are. Oh, there's some more. There's another little vehicle and a robot. That robot may have been used somewhere. I guess that's the question. Were these used in any of the other regular sets? And if they weren't used in the regular set, nice picture there. Kind of like the Rainbow Warrior look of that one. Um, <laughs> there's, there's, there's Castle and everything in here. This, see, the stuff they did back in the day, Lego, this was, this was awesome stuff here. I don't know, maybe it's because it's from my childhood, but I, that's how I would have played. I would have had everything mixed up together. So I guess my point is, is, are these, I know they're not official sets and stuff, but are they are they sets? Or, I don't know. Uh, probably not. So that's the 200 idea book, got that. Also, I probably have a copy of that. I just didn't have the stickers. Okay, so here, let's look at this little feller. May not be focusing. Any rate, it's uh, what is this? This is the 6815, and I don't know the name, but it goes with these guys here, which is the Explorians. And all the Lego Space guys are just freaking out right now because I'm not, I'm not saying something right. I'm sure, but yeah, this is I don't know the name. This one for sure, or this one. This. Huh, I think, okay, I thought I saw something on there that, and th th this would have been way too late for, it's just weird, It's it's got the French on it, so kind of makes me think this probably came from Canada. So, okay, so I got two of these, all right, we have the 6854 little vehicle, pretty cool, and this little flying ship, saucer, or whatever you want to call it. Now, one of the things about the Explorians that I thought is really cool, I know they use magnets a lot in some of the later sets, but this, so it's your basic train magnet right there. This tile, it's just a regular tile. Hopefully, hopefully I'm getting it zoomed. That's not gonna zoom at all. So anyway, I'll put a picture of it in there. But uh, this tile, the sticker itself is magnetic, and I thought that is pretty awesome. Pretty cool, magnetic stickers. So that was kind of neat. Uh, you also had the uh, the the blue and red when you looked under the the dishes, the Transclear blue and red dishes. The uh, sticker was a little different. And they show that on the back of the box too. So that's my space uh, portion of the hall. I also picked up 4533. 
which is a snowblower. The little rubber band is extra, it didn't belong there. Um, so I got the instructions for it. Uh, I don't have the box, I would like to have the box. Um, but um, um, I need to learn to not say um. I do have the stickers for it. So that was, uh, that's pretty cool to get this, the unused sticker sheet. And uh, they've been, st it looks like somebody pinched them in between a brick or two there. So at any rate, this was cool. It turned based on the wheels. So when the wheels turned on the track, it turned the snowblower. So the faster it went, the faster the snowblower went. So got the old nine volt coupler on the back. Pretty cool to have. I didn't have that. Add that to my train collection. Uh, so that's cool. So speaking to the trains, uh, I did a video about the crocodile and I mentioned that I wanted to put it up against the LGB version, which my father has an LGB version. So I borrowed that from him and let's see some footage. It's uh, me playing with this other camera and it's, I had a hard time finding a spot to put the LGB God, there's a reason they call it Garden Railroad because you've got to almost play with it outside. Huge. So let's check that video out. Whoa! Oh, it's off the track again. It's off the track again? Me and Gigi on here. Me and Grandma are gonna be riding the train. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, go! Yes, this is the LGB 2018 from several years ago. And running in the middle is my steam train mock going over the very precarious bridge. Quite a bit of difference in size here. What do you think, Dakota? It's good. It's good. All right, like I said, that was not some, not the best video in the world, but uh, that was uh, a little bit of the comparison between the Lego Crocodile and the um, LGB version of the Crocodile. And that's that, that 2040, that Crocodile, LGB Crocodile, that's that's fairly old. That would have been, uh, I think that's from the early, or, let's see, I'd be late 80s, maybe early 90s, maybe earlier. They actually made, LGB made that Crocodile for years and years and years. That one would have probably been an 80s version of it. So, 
All right, that's the uh, haul. So uh, thanks for watching. It's actually hitting the frame of the engine. Keep going, let me see. It's Okay, stop.